Hi everyone, I'm Brooke from Heartland Vintage Market and today I'm going to show you how to seal a transfer. So I did another video called how to apply a transfer to furniture. Hopefully you saw that and you got all the concepts around that. If not, you'd be able to find that on my YouTube channel. This uh, transfer is called Wondrous Floral. It's by Redesign with Prima. It's a, re a decor transfer and I applied it to the front of this dresser. So before I seal it, I do want to recap on one very important step in the process, and that is uh, burnishing the transfer. So a lot of times people will put the transfer on, rub it on, peel away the paper, and then go straight to the sealing step. Now what can happen there is if the transfer is not really burnished well, in other words, bonded onto the piece, if there are loose edges, if there are air bubbles, then sealer of any kind can get underneath that and um, cause the edges to lift and curl, cause the bubbles to bubble even more. <laughs> it's just not good. So this is a this is a finishing pad. This is by Dixie Bell. I sell this on my website. I burnished this entire piece, but I just really want to reiterate the importance of that before we talk about sealing. So that means basically rubbing the transfer down very, very well, making sure that you get the tops of drawers, the bottoms of drawers, and basically every little bit of the entire transfer. Okay, so I seal my transfers after I apply them. I have seen where some other people like to seal the paint first and then apply the transfer, and that works for them. Uh, so that's fine as long as you don't seal it with wax. You don't want to apply the transfer over wax. Um, however, I'm just going to share with you my techniques and what's works, worked for me and I haven't had any problems with. And so my preferred method is to paint, uh, wait till the paint's a good 24 hours dry, then sand it very lightly and dust away the sand, then apply the transfer, then burnish it, and then seal it, okay? So, I'm also going to share with you what I use to seal, okay? So I use Dixie Bell's clear coat. I just, this is kind of my go-to top coat. Uh, unless I need the really super extra durability factor of gator hide, then I will use gator hide. But this is a good top coat. And uh, to me, it's just a little, it's just my favorite one to use. So this is the, um, the gator hide sponge. And then I also have a brush here. You can use either. Now, when I'm talking about flat surfaces, like the fronts of these drawers, I really like to use the sponge. Uh, no brush strokes. So I just dip the sponge right in the sealer. Now you don't want to put too much on, okay? Just keep it kind of light. And then just seal it like you would your regular old paint job. If you think you got a little bit too much product on there, just turn the sponge around. Use the dry side and kind of wipe it at that point. So my mission here is to put two to three light coats of sealer on this piece. No heavy coats, just letting it dry in between. Okay, so go to the next drawer now. Again, not too much. It's really easy to get a little carried away with this stuff. But that's kind of one of the nice things about the sponge that you could just turn it upside down. So I like to do that, just sort of wipe off the excess a little bit if I get too much on, okay? And here I'll demonstrate the brush. So if you prefer to use a brush, you by all means can do that. Same concept, don't over uh, apply and don't overwork the product. So by don't overwork the product, what that means is, boy, I sure you should prefer the sponge. <laughs> what that means is try not to go back and forth too many times, okay? Like that's plenty of times right there. Because if you overwork it, then you start creating sort of a texture in the product as it starts to dry. You don't want to do that. But for the drawers, I do like the sponge. So I'll do this fourth one with the sponge. And then I think you get the picture, right? That might be a little much, I'm gonna wipe some off. So easy, you guys. 
let your sealer dry according to the directions on your sealer, depending on your sealer. You can use wax as a sealer over the transfer, okay? Not under. So you can use waxes over. Uh, there's a lot of different kinds of sealers on the market that are just fine for transfers, but I don't wanna talk about them because I, I don't use them. I don't like to talk about things I don't know about. And this is the product that I use this or Gator Hide by Dixie Bell all the time. Okay, so I hope you found that helpful. I am Brooke Sobel, Heartland Vintage Market, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.